Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a video for a relationship hack, or the most important one, I think. Um, and this is for especially the givers out there. If you find yourself in a relationship and that you're always giving and you're never receiving, and you can't figure out why or how to change things, especially for you water signs, because I am one too, and we give and we give and we think, well, if I give more, I'll get more in return. But it doesn't seem to ever happen that way. So what I've learned, and this is really simple when you think about it logically, but it can be really hard, especially if you're emotionally attached to somebody or you tend to have codependent relationships and you don't know how to break out of that. I've learned that the more you focus on that person, the more they tend to not give or even just check out emotionally. And what you can do is focus on yourself. The love that you have, because I know you have so much love to give somebody, and you want to give it to them, but there's an imbalance. And we're all projectors. We project our realities in our life and that includes especially our relationships and so if we focus on ourselves and give ourselves the love that we're not getting from somebody else because that'll never work and never does and just do things that make you happy things that you enjoy you know it could be as small as you know a hobby or just taking a bubble bath believe it or not just doing that one thing a day if that if you find it really hard to give to yourself that way then just do that and you'll be amazed amazed I kid you not I promise you this works at the people not just the person that you want to you know give you the love it's in all your relationships family friends even at work they just feel that your energy has changed. They don't know it. Subconsciously they know it. But they know there's something different. And they want to give to you. Again and again. And the way to keep this coming or keep this... I mean, you wonder, like, well, why are the women that are always taking so much time on themselves, doing their hair, their nails, their clothes watching what they eat, they're really doing that self-care on themselves a lot. And they always seem to find somebody in their life. They always have boyfriends or, you know, dates. That's why it's so important, especially in the feminine energy. Um, a lot of people, especially now, we're taught in everything that we see in ads about taking charge of your life. Women need to take charge, they need to have their careers and have their family, but the truth is you, you don't have time for all of that. You have to pick and choose. So in your self-care, I would make that a priority. Priority number one, wherever you can get the peace, peace of mind, where you're not stressed out, if you find yourself eating more, um, having headaches, you're just fatigued all the time, that's your sign that you need to start taking care of yourself. And make sure you're, you're setting boundaries. There's nothing wrong with setting boundaries. You're taking care of yourself. You're not being selfish. Not at all. And people will start respecting that. They will. And yes, it takes practice. It does. It's taken me a lot of practice to do that. And I have been always the person that gives and gives and end up being the martyr and complaining because I'm giving so much and nobody's giving me back in return. So try this, comment below, let me know how it goes, and I'll see if I can figure out some more relationship hacks. Thanks. Bye.